Did you know that nearly every piece of technology in your smartphone was initially developed through government-funded innovation? I'd never considered this before listening to this next title, which reframed how I see public versus private investment and innovation. Welcome to Audiobook Reviews in 5. This is Yana, also known as Jana, and in today's episode, I'm reviewing Mission Economy, a moonshot guide to changing capitalism by Mariana Matsukato and read by Lexi McDougall. I'm a fan of the Sway podcast from the New York Times. So when I heard host Kara Swisher recently introduce Mariana Matsukato as the economist that the Pope Bill Gates and AOC turn to these days for advice on how to reimagine a more equitable capitalist society, I was intrigued. I focused intently on their conversation, which sounded like a radical departure from economic norms. I've linked to that interview in my show notes, and I recommend you listen to it to get a sense of Matsukato's personality and persuasiveness. If you're anything like me, you've spent much of your life hearing about the wonders of privately funded innovation and the slow, bureaucratic, and regulatory nature of the government. We've been led to believe that government hinders rather than helps the speed of innovation. In her book, Mission Economy, Matsukado looks at the grand challenges facing us in a radically new way, arguing that we must rethink the capacities and role of government within the economy and society, and above all, recover a sense of public purpose. Taking her inspiration from the moonshot programs of the mid-20th century, which successfully coordinated public and private sectors on a massive scale, Matsukaru calls for the same level of boldness and experimentation to be applied to the biggest problems of our time. For me, the most important message of this book is that government has and continues to be our best solution to the limits of the market. Our popular ideas about government are wrong, especially American government. Did you know, for example, that Elon Musk has received over $5 billion from the U.S. government toward research and development? I didn't. Or that $40 billion a year is invested by the United States taxpayer-funded institutes of health. Yet the prices of the drugs that come out of that don't reflect the collective value creation. Most people don't realize that the internet, GPS, and voice-activated systems like Siri and Alexa simply would not exist without the long-term investment of government funding. Now, Matsukato isn't arguing that the private sector is not doing anything, but they are not the primary risk-takers we've been told to idolize. In reality, government often does the heavy lifting and invests in the most early, high-risk stages. Matsukato illustrates the immediate relevance of moonshot goals by first explaining the interorganizational government capabilities that led to the moon landing— And then she goes into some detail about how we'd take a similar approach to tackle all the social problems of our time. Specifically, she looks at the globally agreed upon UN Sustainable Development Goals, including poverty, hunger, health, and well-being, and education. She emphasizes these are not merely technological problems to solve. These are wicked problems in the sense that they require behavioral change, regulatory change, and political change. To solve these problems, people need to change their thinking about the role of government. Matsukato's acknowledgement of a shift in values from personal consumption toward a collective good are summed up briefly, but there's little discussion of how this shift might actually happen. This seems like the true challenge— And she acknowledges this in her interview with Kara Swisher, acknowledging the role that the arts and popular culture have in engaging and inspiring people toward a common mission. I was surprised by this glossing over in the book, but maybe I'm not really the intended audience. As Guardian journalist Tom Kibasi describes it, 
Mission Economy is styled as a how-to guide for policymakers who want to unleash the full potential of the state to solve some of the great challenges of the 21st century. Reframing public perceptions about the role of government is far bigger than policy change, though. In fact, policy change depends on it. Overall, Mission Economy is an academic-sounding book, and I was disappointed that Mazzucato's personality that shines so brightly in her interview with Kara Swisher on Sway doesn't come through. Lexi McDougall's narration is competent, but I listened to this audiobook on accelerated speed because the writing, well, it's a bit dry. I'm reviewing this book because the ideas are important, but I worry the jargon used here might limit reader or listener engagement. That said, if you do want to better understand public policy and reframing capitalism, Mission Economy is more accessible than some material. At the very least, I encourage you to visit Mariana Matsukato's website, which I've also linked to in my show notes, and listen to her interviews. She's remarkably energized and uplifting for someone aiming to solve massive problems, and we could all use a bit of her optimism right now. That's all for this episode of Audiobook Reviews in 5. Thanks for listening. If you have not yet done so, please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to Audiobook Reviews in 5 on Anchor, Apple, Spotify, and many others. By subscribing, you help increase the profile of this podcast and chances of other listeners finding it. I look forward to checking in with you all again soon. Please stay safe and be well.